Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJO Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, your literal boy, in this case, King Stannis of the Iron Throne, yes. Last episode, the uh, boring <laughs> and short rule of our brother, uh, King Robert, ended uh, in a blaze of fire when he was killed by the dragon Drogon at age 19, after having ruled for, what, a year and a half? Uh, a little bit over two years. Um, and now we, the unlikely uh, young, youngest brother, of uh, youngest son of, uh, of King Oris, have, uh, have, uh, have succeeded our brother. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we are kind of like uh, Aegon the Unlikely, right? So uh, there was, we, we had Sylvina, who is a pretty good uh, successor to Oris. She, she has a dragon of her own. She has pretty good traits. She's groomed. Uh, we have Robert, of course. We have Renly, but he died. We have Olimar, but he died. So there's <laughs> there's three people, three males, t three t three uh, three men ahead of us who could have succeeded us, but we ended up on the throne. So I think Stannis is probably uh, <laughs> reeling a bit from uh, from what's happened. Uh, who is our guardian? Ah, this guy, right? Uh, formidable fighter. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can uh, if we can at least uh, become a decent fighter uh, while uh, while we're in the Regency under our uncle, Lord Paramount Edric the Hideous of the Reach. <laughs> he's not that hideous, come on guys, he's a bit fat, but it, it, it could be worse, right? Oh, he's got the ugly trait, right, right, right. Okay, so, Stan is the unlikely. Um, I guess I could I could just use the console and give him that nickname, I think that's fun, yeah. Nick, nickname, Nick, I, I think it's probably in the game file somewhere, Nick the unlikely. Oh no, it's not in there. Okay. I'm pretty sure that was a that was a king's name though, right? That's here, Aegon the Unlikely. Nickname Nick the Unlikely. This doesn't work. Okay, I guess not. I will have a look that up uh, later. What the uh, the actual uh, uh, actual sort of name is in the in the game files. Maybe it's just Unlikely. No, I guess not. Okay, fine. We will uh, we will look that up later. Uh, yes, Tennis the Unlikely. Uh, let's, I think, you know, Stannis is a little boy. Uh, we have, uh, our regent is, uh, is is our uncle, Edric of the Reach. So I'm guessing that uh, Edric will want to move back the capital to uh, King's Landing. Because it's way more convenient for him to travel up and down to King's Landing over the King's Road. Rather than having to take a boat every time to, uh, to Dragonstone. And we don't have any dragons anyway. So <laughs> that's the reason why we moved to Dragonstone is because... Uh, it would avoid the 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 dragon pit uh, malices to our dragons. But if we don't have any dragons, then why would we, right? Yeah, let's move back to King's Landing. There we go. So we are back in King, King's Landing, uh, the court of the Red Keep. But Tennis he is he's still a little boy, so he uh, he's not really uh, noticing any of it. Although I guess he does prefer the the warm climate and and, and large castle of uh, King's Landing over the cold, dark fortress of Dragonstone. So I think he's happy about that. Okay, yes, let's continue. The invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. All right, yeah, I think I did, I did a small funeral, probably. Lord Kragan of the Rills, whatever. I guess that's my guardian, right? Lord Kragan. No, oh, no, Lord Adrian of Bramsford. I'll spend lavishly on food. Yeah, why not, right? I mean, we have... Okay, let, let's have a look at our regent. Uh, our uncle, because he is going to be the leader of the Iron Throne. He is proud, drunkard. Just, charitable, family person, gregarious, groomed, liberator, liberator. Okay, he's <laughs> he's anti-slavery. Okay, um, so that's fine. I, I think Edric is he's not a bad guy. I'm pretty sure he has been Lord of the Reach for quite a while, right? Yeah, 25 years now, 30 years almost. Oh, he knows he knows his stuff. He knows how uh, how he has to rule a large uh, area. He's he's just you know he, he's he's a good regent. I think. I think uh, the. Uh, the people uh, won't mind so much. Had a tricky, whatever. Nope. I'm not gonna pay you. Don't talk to me about duties. How is the uh, the faction uh, factions coming along? Okay, mm, not great. Winton of the North, Yunkai, Bravos, and Mur. They they all want to be independent. Winton the Eagle. Oh yeah, we cannot uh, for non-aggression pact. No, we cannot do that. I guess. You are married to our aunt. Okay, well, whatever. 
Uh, Stannis. We could marry Stannis off to his daughter. My cousin. Hmm. But then he would move... Uh, he, 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 we would get a non-aggression pact with him. Although I think probably... Uh, our regent... Par Lord Paramount Edric will have something to say about that. He will probably find uh, find someone for us to marry. Maybe one of his own... Uh, his own kids. Carlton, okay. He doesn't have any... Any uh, girls of the appropriate age. I guess not. Okay, we will think about that. Let the feasting commence. Uh, what happened to our Targaryen? Uh oh yeah, we, we looked at that uh, the last time, right? We said, okay, my t uh, Targaryen wife of the Vale. She's only 21. She has winter fever, though. How, many, how much health malice is that? Minus three, okay. We might marry her. <laughs> Please dig in, my lords. That's disgusting. Because we will... Uh, the funeral, and so it is done. Uh, he was known to be most courageous. He was a well-respected swordsman, being one of the more capable in history. Well, yes or no. I mean, he was on paper a very good swordsman, but he had only one eye, so <laughs> he was fairly easily beaten by pretty much any member of the King's Guard. Okay, King Stannis Baratheon, age 19. Refused legitimization. Fine. My uh, my regent has. Uh, who was sieging? Oh, it's the Dothraki, right? Uh, come on, guys, you can deal with that yourselves. Well, I, I shouldn't have to move over there. Uh, Your Grace. Yada yada yada. Lady of Pentos has too many titles. Oof, she is terrible. Blind from age. Okay, yeah, fine. You will probably say no, but... Uh, the insolence! Oh, whatever. Whatever. We, uh, we are just growing up in the confines of the Red Keep. And the, 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 the trees and gardens <laughs> that are around there. It was, was that the... The South Park aflevering about uh, the South Park uh, aflevering, <laughs> the South Park episode aflevering is Dutch for episode. I don't know why I, why I suddenly switched to Dutch, but uh, the South Park episode about Game of Thrones, they uh, they also walk around the gardens. They call it like the trees and gardens because all the trees and happens while the characters take a stroll through the gardens. At least in the in the first few seasons of Game of Thrones, I received word from a jailer who has been caring for my mother Jelena. Not only is she suffering from winter fever, called for a court vision at once. Guards, it's time we release my poor mother from prison. Oh, is she in my prison? Let's release her. My poor mother. You want to come over here or you're already... Uh, you're already uh, back in my court. Military innovations. Uh, sure. My toys, mine! But they are my toys. My guardian, Lord Adrian, who won't have me turn in a mean and selfish little money grabber. <laughs> Warden of the West. Hey, this, uh... Oh, this, this guy. Quentin. I'm pretty sure he, he's been the Lord of the West for a while, right? Yeah. I don't know why he's not the Warden yet. Maybe he was still fighting uh, fighting a war. Peasant Revolt. Ah, come on, man. Peasant Revolts are kind of annoying because they're quite easy to beat. But, yeah, you, you do have to do it. Uh, let's raise some armies, I guess. Charge! 50% chance of... Lord Paramount Edric dies. Oh, wait, 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 wait. As you ride through the empty corridors of your castle on your trusty wooden stick horse, you come across your regent, Lord Paramount Edric of the Reach, getting some fresh air on the balcony, with his back turned against you. I can try to kill him. <laughs> or I can say, no, I'm a good lad. I'm not gonna kill my uncle. I don't mind my uncle, right? He's not like uh, our rival or anything. No, I'm a good lad. I'm not gonna kill uh, Lord Paramount Edric. He's a pretty good, uh, pretty good regent. <laughs> it's a funny event, though, and, 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 and don't play that often as, as kids. So these, these these children events are quite fun for me. And let's uh, let's move in, move in, and keep up the fire. Uh, Sir Wilbur Rowan, marriage please, you old man. I don't know why you're asking me. Are you my um, my spy master? I guess so, right? Oh no, Lord Paramount Raymond is my spy master. He is the uh, the Piper guy, guy we married. He's married to Princess Sylvina. I guess I, I think Princess Sylvania, yeah, one of you guys uh, compared her to uh, Rhaenyra. I think it was uh, Roderick Forrester. Um, and, and I think that's that's a fair comparison. I'm, I will be honest, I still have not really read up on the sort of lore of the, the, uh, the Dance of the Dragon, so I don't really know that much about it. Uh, but we might do a series on that uh, at some point. Oh, War Against the Tyranny of King Stannis. Lady of Messi's Hook. We will honor my allegiance. I don't know why you are attacking me. Everybody is helping me. 
will show you on their obligations. Lady Tazan has revolted against me, cited so evidence of plans to have her arrested and banished. What are you doing, lady? Are you crazy? You crazy? <laughs> you, you have like 2,000 people. You, you, you think you're gonna fight us? Who's who, who, who's joining her? Wow. You dudes, <laughs> you you guys are crazy. We have we have Lord Edric Brettian as our regent. We can easily crush all of you. And we already have Lord Permont Raymond of the Stormlands who's joining us because he's uh, also a Baratheon uh, in orbit name, basically. So I don't know what, what what you guys think you're doing. You don't have any backing from the the Lords Paramount. <laughs> you stupid stupid fools. I think uh, I think Lord Raymond is gonna deal with you. With Lord Edric, I mean. He is just, I guess. He's not rot for anything. Okay, I guess he will be decently fair. I guess he will probably banish you to the walls. Oh. Oh yeah, of course he's out of my country now. My mother is now my regent. Oof, okay, she is... <laughs> that was not a good turn, I guess. Because she is terrible. She is gonna murder you. <laughs> she's cruel, ruthless, deceitful, cynical. She's gonna kill you. She's lunatic. <laughs> oh, you guys are so dead. Okay, everybody is joining me. Very nice. Do we make our mother the hand of the king? Can we do that? No, I guess not. Uh, we will do Hammond, Lord of Duskendil. He's like the only guy... In the crown lands, we has not uh, not deser deserted us. Uh, Magister of Velisar. Oh, my grandmother. Oh, yeah, one of you guys mentioned that, that she's still alive. <laughs> my grandmother. So uh, she, uh, she was the wife of King Robert. And she <laughs> she outlived my... Uh, she outlived uh, uh, King Horus, the Dragon Lord. <laughs> she's still alive, 72. Armies of the Bite shall, uh, shall help you. Okay. Your Grace Princess Alona tried to hatch a dragon egg, but failed. She lost the wreck in the process. Oof, okay. That sucks for you, Alona. Too bad. Uh, it's a bad omen. For my acquaintance. <laughs> my sister, come on. Uh, oh, we, we need to reappoint some more. Uh, shouldn't forget about the other. Um, ah, my, my mother can be my spy master, that's fine. My mother is back from the prison. She survived winter fever. She has... Um, Strong claim on the Kingdom of the Vale. Oh yeah, yeah, she's, she's the daughter of uh, Alderman Risley. Yeah, I forgot about that. The previous Lord of the Vale. Not the uh, previous, but the first Lord, of the, uh, the first new Lord of the Vale after the Errands. Uh, Holton Chestnut. No, that's fine. Imprison him. It's not his fault. Um, my mother is my regent, right? Bring me his hat. You will be beheaded. That's my mother do doing that. <laughs> she is. Uh, she's a very cruel, uh, ruthless woman. If it would have been uh, still uh, Lord Edric in charge, then I wouldn't have done that. But my mother, she uh, she's gonna, she will do that kind of thing. Oh, they're uh, they're besieging Dragonstone itself. Hmm. Let's move our crown focus here. Uh, we need we need our boats. I think let's raise our boats. Move to King's Landing, guys. We need to relieve Dragonstone. Uh, we can call for Dragon Riders. No. We will try, probably try out, depending on what you guys think. I asked you last episode uh, if you think I should go after this dragon once I grow up. But uh, yeah, based on what you guys say, uh, we, we, will, we will leave the dragon alone for now during our Regency. And uh, hopefully, because uh, re I'm recording this before that episode that I ask you guys. Uh, for your opinion on uh, goes up, so I don't know the outcome yet. So we will not do anything with the dragon for now. Uh, we cannot do anything with it anyway, because we are just a ten-year-old boy, right? Let's relieve Dragonstone. I don't know why I, why all these people are joining her. You should pay attention to who is joining her. Beric of Kingswood, Elric of Cracklaw Point, Monteris of Driftmark. Oh, my guardian! Oh no, he's not my guardian. He's another Adrian. Adrian of Bramsford is luckily not... Uh, is he? He is. He's fighting me. He's still my guardian. What? <laughs> I don't know how that works. Okay. Well, fine. <laughs> I guess we are at his court then. Yeah. And he's being tutored by Lord Adrian of Bramsford in Bramsford. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't know how that works. Master Gaston, uh, he can be merciful, right? 
39%. These are the people we grew, I grew up with. We have few we bonded over the years. A whole bunch of little kids. Fine. Uh, there's another 5,000 people here. Let's go after them. Although I guess we can storm this castle. No, we will, we will storm the, the castles here. That is her, her, her own land. The, the, the land of the lady who is attacking me. I really don't know what you guys think you're doing. This is really uh, our city of Volantis. Is that now back? Okay, I, that's back, I guess. Okay, we can uh, we can give you some vessels, my man. Magister of Falasar, here you go. That's nice. I don't know why. Oh, I, I guess uh, yeah, we, we gave him some land so that he could do that, right? Here you go. I think that's all uh, right. You are now back under us. And hopefully you like us a bit. Not really. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, you guys can move here. You might, might. I don't think we will need you, but uh, might as well, right? Might as well uh, try to uh, to get a hold of you. Once, uh, when and if we need you. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, you guys, you guys, you are, you're, you're joining me. Fine. Eighty-four percent. Okay, let's storm this castle. Eighty-nine percent. I don't really don't know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> I think already his, the, the, his mother is dead. Yeah, <laughs> died in a suspicious circumstances. Okay. <laughs> this guy's a genius, though. Lord Devon of Messi's Hook. In hiding. Lord Devon, please surrender. We will murder you. <laughs> uh, the rebel army has been cursed. One of the traitors has been brought before you uh, to hear your judgment. And he bent the knee, sent him to the dungeon. He will forfeit Claw Isle. Up here. Um, send him to the dungeon. Yeah, we're gonna be cruel, right? So we will have another big revolt coming, probably. But Adrian Chelset is my guardian, so let him bend the knee, I guess. But Devin Messi sent him to the dungeon. With Adrian Crab. Sent him to the dungeon. Uh, Lord Master Gilbert Faring. Sent him to the dungeon. Lord Harmon Bar Emmons sent him to the dungeon. Barrick Bywater sent him to the dungeon. 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 Everybody to the dungeon, please. <laughs> there will be a second revolt, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Only two, though. Curtie in my captivity and they have been mutterings amongst my courtiers. Nope. Let him rot. Screw this, screw this little boy. Execute him. Increase tyranny. Oh, do we need to call a trial first? Age is greater than 16. Okay, throw a nobly at them. Mm, execute. Tyranny increases by 10. Exile. It's also tyrannical. Okay, well, we'll throw him in the oubliette. Maybe once um, once Lord Edric comes back, we will release him. But this is my, my mother who is doing all this. She is cruel and ruthless and uh, cynical and a lunatic. So she's, she would definitely do this. Okay, this guy is attacking anyone else? Or is the rest uh, nicely going into my prison? Prisoners. Elleric, execute. Execute imprisoned. Yep. Will be beheaded. Okay, who else do we have? <laughs> Adrian of Claw Isle. Execute. Beheaded. Devon. Oh, Devon is a little kid. We cannot execute him. Gilbert of Faring Cross. Execute. Do it. Behead him. The gods command that he must be stoned. <laughs> so why, why can't we do stoned? Now we gotta behead him, right? I think it's the fact that we're executing all these guys is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty much uh, cruel enough. Uh, execute. We had him. My mother is doing all this. My my uncle will not be happy <laughs> with her, but uh, we're gonna do it anyway. Um, execute. I don't know what you guys were thinking. This was gonna happen, right? I mean. <laughs> Kills. Okay, I have I have eight kills already at age ten. <laughs> uh, two of them died in the dungeon. That doesn't really count. It, it would have been way better if we would just would just have ransomed them. But okay, whatever. Execute. Okay, this is tyranny. Do we have a tyranny already? No. Uh, we will we will wait for him to get sit to, to, to grow to sixteen, and then we will hold a trial. Okay, let's charge Bywater. He can still do much good. Uh, Eric, first tell your marriage, please. Until next time. 
Okay, fine. I don't care about Tarashi politics right now. No, I'm not gonna pay. Oh, this is Lord Paramount Quentin, though. Is it a lot of money? I think it's worth it to uh, increase his opinion of us a bit for 40 gold. Uh, Stormland Army, please join me. We appoint the old council, yeah. But this, this, this man... <laughs> minus 100, really? Demands vengeance. Can we imprison you? Okay, well... <laughs> I don't think he should be our guardian anymore, anyway. No, I will keep my current council. I think we should switch guardians. Because <laughs> this guy just really, really hates me. Um, this guy's ironborn. We're kind of looking for another... Um, Another formidable fighter, right? Let's uh, let's find one. Uh, for mid, mid, midable fighter, Justin. Justin, sir of Drake Castle. He uh, he looks pretty good. Trade wise, he's an incompetent commander, though. That's not great. Tom and Hunter. Hey, yeah, what, what if we say my culture group? Is there anything uh, anyone better? Who is also a brilliant strategist, maybe? Hmm, doesn't look like it. You could have Patrick Vance, who is a skilled tactician at least, but he has pretty terrible traits otherwise. Uh, Lester Swigert. Uh, you could, we could do him, I guess. He's decent, I guess. But this guy is a, is a duelist, Vickery. This guy's a Stormlander. Now we could do that, I guess, why not? Stennis. Roland Swigert, so he's probably even better. Yeah. Oh, he's a skilled fighter, though. Lester is a formidable fighter. I, I'm, I kind of want to be, become a great fighter, so I think we're going to do that. Call for Dragon Riders, nope. I think probably now everybody will hate me. Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on my behalf against the, my, the aggression of Prince Angren Martel, who is invading my lands, says the Pirate King of the Stepstones. Yeah, the Regency Council can decide. I don't care. Uh, they voted against. Okay. Oh. Valina now rides Drogon into battle. This 50-year-old woman. Westerosi Valyrian. Okay. <laughs> it will make you a special character. No, you are at my court. Can we make you a uh, commander? That would be great. But Norin the Elegant. Valina. Where are you, my woman? You're at my court, right? I think I, 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 I did see you. Valina. No, I guess we cannot make her a commander. Okay, fine. She tamed Drogon and brought her brought him over to King's Landing again to uh, reside in the Dragon Pit. Very nice. The Drogon is no longer uh, killing random people in uh, <laughs> Ariax's Dragon Egg. And uh, can I have that? Uh, my uh, sister-in-law, can you give me that egg? <laughs> I would I would very much appreciate it. Can we buy that? The Mentor Turn of Artifact. A uh, Daenerys's crown, right? Yeah. My uh, my lovely uh, hair-lipped uh, sister-in-law. All right, let's uh, let's charge this uh, this castle once we once we can do that. Uh, okay, glad we accept your guardianship. Great. Oh, what happened? Your bannerman has decreed in a will that you shall have a prize dragon egg. But she died. Suspicious circumstance. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it wasn't me, guys. Maybe it was my mother. She is uh, that kind of thing. You know, she's like um, like Livia, the uh, the wife of, uh, of, of uh, Emperor Augustus, Roman Emperor Augustus. In the sort of Roman histories, Livia gets a terrible reputation as sort of this, this scheming, woman, scheming woman. And uh, she's said to have killed like many emperors and, and a lot of people. She, she, yeah, she's kind of, she, she was also the, uh, the Tiberius and Nero and Caligula and stuff. She was kind of the, the matriarch uh, behind, uh, behind the throne doing all these scheming. So maybe uh, maybe Jelena is like that. Maybe Jelena is like, like Livia. Uh, and she murdered the last Targaryen. Is this the last Targaryen? Living member zero. Not oh, damn, okay. <laughs> Valyrian steel sword. Who has that then now? Is it also me? Was I her heir? I, di I didn't really check. Or was it uh, the Yellow Fire, for example? Treasury. Lisa's whip. She's riding a dragon, huh? Yeah, she is, okay. I don't, I don't know who inherited uh, that that sword. Then was it me? Robert Warhammer. Heart e Eater. Have we looked that up? That's not a. And the uh, Ariax's Dragon Egg. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. 
So we can maybe grow our own dragon. That would be great, actually. Okay. Interesting development. So now the veil is probably also ours again. Or did, did it go to somebody? It went to Titos of the Veil, really? Lord Paramount Titus of the Veil. Who is he? Who are you, my man? House Targaryen. Oh, see, oh, oh, I see. Okay, wow. Einar of No Man's Land. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 right, right, right. Because uh, Titus Lannister married Daenerys. Uh, yeah, Daenerys Stormborn. And then... Um, it's, it's, it's tricky. Oh, yeah, Sumela is the daughter of Einar. So this is her uncle. And he's a Lannister. And he inherited the veil. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, so the Lannisters are in charge of the veil now. So they, they lost the Westerlands, but they gained the veil. That's fascinating. <laughs> so they, they managed to crawl their way back up. They, they probably wanted to... Originally, uh, Titos probably wanted to be king of the Iron Throne through Daenerys, but he failed that. But uh, still, the marriage to, uh, to Daenerys uh, paid off for the Lannisters in the end. So all the Targaryens are dead. But Lord Paramount Titos is still here. Oh, that's awesome. Does he have the, uh, the Valyrian Steel Sword? Yeah, I think so. Probably, yeah, Daenerys is crown. So he inherited the Valyrian Steel Sword as well. The uh, uh, Targaryen family sword. Uh, yeah, original owner Lord Aenar. Yeah, indeed. Interesting. Okay, so we have a new Lord of the Vale. Is he good, good, at, good at anything? He's ruthless. Otherwise, he's pretty terrible. Okay. Interesting. So we uh, we have a, a dragon egg. So then we should visit these dragon places again, right? We cannot do that right now because we're 10 years old. Warden of the East. Yeah, the, uh, the Lannister can do it. The Lannister boy. If my mother catches you uh, with uh, with her family. Can we re reappoint uh, our, our uncle? As a regent? No, I guess not. But my mother is still my regent, huh? She's a bit like Cersei Lannister, then. There's no one of value here. Okay. I don't know where his family is, then. She m they must be here, right? So just no nobody left, is that it? I mean, for what it's worth, we did uh, gain a lot of fear. So people respect our rule, even if they don't like me. They probably hate my mother more than they hate me, though. Seven, six, five... Okay, my, the game is, is, is starting to, s to slow down a little bit. That's, uh, that's what happens with this game. It's, it, it, uh, with, with this mod, it's, I think it's... Yeah, I mean, it's a mod. I mean, they did an amazing job. But it's very difficult to sort of optimize it. Uh, to run smoothly as well. There's a lot of stuff going on all the time. So, uh, especially towards the late game, this mod really starts to chug. But you, uh, that's why I never really played this more than 100 years or so. Uh, Winterfell trial by combat. Lord Harry and Karstark demanded trial by combat from his Paramount. From his captain, Lord Paramount Winton Karstark, and proved his innocence by slaying his opponent. Okay. The Karstarks. They're still in charge, huh? Yeah, we had uh, Lord Paramount Benjamin II. Karstark, whom we, uh, we, we know. We had Arnulf Karstark, who usurped the, uh, the, the, the throne uh, initially. And we had a brief period where Rickon, uh, Rickon Stark was back in charge. Yeah, here he is. But only for a few months. But the Karstarks have, have ru been ruling the north with only a brief interruption for 60 years. So I think probably the north is starting to accept them a little bit. And what is what happened to the, the, the descendants of... Uh, yeah, the Starks are still here. There's Moria the Rash of Hayford. She's the daughter of, uh, of Rickon Stark. There's still three Stark living... Well, she married Metalinially to... The <laughs> This man. <laughs> Western man. He doesn't really look like a Western man, but it's fine. Uh, there's three three Starks left. And of course, there's, yeah, <laughs> Sansa Crow Killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the, the bastard children of, uh, of Jon John Snow. Gert. Is this the Gert? Gert. Uh, no, it's a different guy. It's not the, the, old, uh, the old king in uh, King Beyond the Wall. <laughs> His grandparents, his uh, children, Savala Crocula. Okay, so I guess this line ended. I'm just checking if there's any more descendants of John somewhere. Yeah, this guy, Garrock Crowkiller. 27 year old wildling, who is the, 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 the grandson of John Snow. <laughs> Great. This guy died of grayscale. And he holds Longclaw. Ah, who holds Longclaw now then? 
It's a good point, actually. Um, is it? Uh, oh, this this line is dead. Mm, this guy maybe, or uh, this woman. Hmm. Okay, I don't know where long claw is. Maybe we can. Okay, can we can we check that by typing it into the search bar? Let's see. Long claw. No, I guess not. Okay, maybe it's just gone. Okay, let's focus on this revolt first. 98%. Okay, this is almost done. The mama's fast is almost done. The north remembers. Davos. Lord Seaworth. The north remembers and the mama's fast is almost done. I might do uh, do a stream one day. Well, we will talk about some of these theories because I think uh, they're quite fun. There's a defray pie theory. Uh, imprisoned. Hip. He's imprisoned. He's, he's, he's dead. You're dead, man. Grant a dragon egg. Oh, hell no. Uh, let's move north. Let's attack this guy as well. Uh, send him to the dungeon. He could revoke his title, I guess. Let him rot. Uh, no. I mean, my, my, my mother would just kill him, right? I mean, this guy is a, is a traitor, so execute him. Nice, okay. <laughs> it would probably have been wiser to just seize the land, because now we just have a vengeful son here. Oh, he doesn't even mind that we killed his... Uh, his... Uh, I guess it must have been his... His predecessor, right? Yeah, Barry conquered as a claimant. Okay. Well, screw you. <laughs> You're a traitor, man. You guys shouldn't betray me. This is what it gets you. I guess maybe they were... Now that we didn't don't hold any dragons anymore, they were probably trying to make a play for the throne. Maybe see someone else on the Iron Throne, because I think, you know, they uh, they haven't had a regency in a long time. Have there been canonically have there been many regencies um, in the history of Westeros? Not really, I think. I'm trying to think of one. Yeah, okay, of course there was uh, Joffrey and Tommen, but other than that. Joe Tommen is not uh, not in our timeline. I think, hmm. If you guys know, let me know. But I think there there maybe uh, there on the first or something. Yeah, probably. The young dragon. Okay, I, sh I should really uh, start reading up on that. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, a bit rusty on my uh, Targaryen lore. I really don't think it's that in. Yeah, okay, that's not true. I I do think it's interesting, but. I prefer the, the normal story. 100%. Okay. Mr. Traitor, sir. You are dead. You're a dead man. Oh, you already died. <laughs> died in the dungeons. Okay. You will forfeit sharp point then, I guess. <laughs> will we get sharp point? No, I guess I guess that didn't work. Okay, do we... Who holds the, the High Lordship? Oh, this is the High Lordship of Dragonstone. Oh, we, uh, we, he is his... He is our direct vessel as Lord of Dragonstone. Okay. Lord Valtrys the Terrible. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, we successfully survived the first challenge to our rule as, uh, as Stannis. Um, yeah, that <laughs> took... Uh, we, we only have been ruling for two years, but, uh, you know, people have been revolting against us. So it, it, it has taken uh, a little bit longer uh, play time. Yes. Okay. So Stannis is here to stay for now. Uh, let's see where his reign goes. Let's see if he will... Be able to hatch his new dragon egg. That is important, I think. Uh, yeah, here it is. Or maybe we will be able to uh, to 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 regain Drogon for the Baratheon dynasty, because uh, Drogon has been <laughs> in and out of our dynasty a couple of times by now. Uh, but let's see about that uh, next time. Let's see uh, if Stannis survives his regency. Let's see if Stannis can uphold, or Stannis and, and his mother can uphold the legacy of uh, King Oris the Dragon Lord. Who is probably the greatest of the Baratheon kings uh, so far, even though he died sadly quite young. He, uh, he conquered a b big chunk of Essos, he defeated many of his fellow dragon riders. This is the guy, man. I, I think you, we also have a bloodline from him. Yeah, Valiant Blood of King Oris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we have two Orises <laughs> who, uh, who hold our bloodline. Okay, um, but we will see if uh, Sanders manages that, and uh, that'll be next episode. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, bye-bye.